Hello, my name is Chevy Chen. I am one of the producers for Nasima. Nasima is the story of the first female Bengali surfer and her challenges as she tries to chase her dream to be a professional surfer. Wow, that's so very cool. And you, you are... Uh... Uh, my name is Naveen, a.k.a. Brooklyn Shanti. I was a music producer on the project. We bridge the gaps between the U.S. and Bangladesh in the soundtrack. We have a lot of original Bengali hip-hop music and dancehall reggae music going on. There is surfing in Bangladesh? Yeah. So, oh, my word. Where and, have I been living? <laughs> it's pretty new. Oh, isn't yeah. that cool? But you have a female... Is she, is she a, like Olympic level or we don't have surfing in the Olympics yet? I mean, I think when it comes to Bengali people and Bengali culture, the Olympics can't even contain what we're capable of oh, doing. That's so, so cool. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, so Nasima is like an inspiration to all people across East and West Bengal, and she's unifying everyone through surfing. My word, I wish she was here. Okay. <laughs> I know. We I all wish do. she was here too. Yeah. But because of COVID, she can't travel right now. So. Uh, all right. Um, but so how old is she? How does she get started in surfing? Why surfing? Who wants to tell me? I can. Yeah, um, I'm Heather Kessinger. I'm the director and a producer on the project. And Nasima's story is extraordinary because women don't swim in public in this country. And so to be the first female surfer is crazy. And she's not out there trying to be Western. She just has a dream and wants to surf and wants a future that's different than her past. Um, How old was she when she started swimming? She and started why? surfing about 14 or 15, which is when we started working with her, and she is now about 21, 22. Um, so this it's, was a long time in the making for you yes, guys. Yes, it was. Yes, it oh was. Oh, my gosh. But it's tough because her age, when she was born, her age was never recorded, and so she doesn't oh, even herself oh. know exactly how old she was, right. but she was very young and now she's a young woman. Who allowed her to swim in public in the first place? She did. She just decided she was going to do that come, come hell or the torpedoes? Well she, so many people are um, controlled or led by the men in their lives, right. their fathers, yep. their brothers, Absolutely. they don't let them do a certain thing or their women's places in the home yep. and Nasima at that age was living without her family. She was living on the street. She didn't have a lot to lose. She only had her dream to gain. Oh my gosh, this is such a wonderful story. My Thank gosh, you. congratulations. How did you find each other? Because you were a microcosm of the world here. Yeah. How did you find each other? Go ahead. Do you remember? Uh, a mutual <laughs> friend found it and connected us. Um, we were searching for stories that show a lot of diversity and inclusiveness. And Heather already had done most of the production and our mutual friend said you guys should probably talk and see what you guys can do together yeah. Wait, so you were in Bangladesh mm -hmm. and how did you end up in Bangladesh um, well the story came to me through an article in a sports magazine that was written by this gentleman named Jamal Yogis who is also part of the team he'll be here Friday for our screening and he had written an article about surfing in Bangladesh. And I thought that just what you said, that's crazy. Nobody surfs in Bangladesh, that's not so. Um, and so that was extraordinary. But within the article, there was two things that were stood out. One was that these young kids had formed a surf club and they were all surfing together. And if you know anything about the subcontinent, there's you know, the caste system in India, for example. Sure. Kids don't mix together from right. different backgrounds. And so right. that was extraordinary. So already something's going on. And the other piece was that Nas mentioned Nasima and how when the surf club started, there were half girls and half boys, maybe 50 or so kids in the club, and how two years later, Nasima was the only girl remaining. All the other girls had dropped out because they were being called whores for going in the water. And it, it just wasn't seen as acceptable for a woman to do. And she didn't have anything to lose and only thought she had something to gain. And the other day, yesterday, was the International Women's Day. Yeah. Oh my gosh, right. we need yeah. to celebrate her. Yeah, class. no, it's Wonderful. fantastic. So yeah. we're we're so blessed that it's here in Santa Barbara in a surf community, focusing on a surf community, a brand new surf community, half a world away. So in this is California, a perfect. The surfing capital, maybe just after Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. So wow, how exciting yeah. is this? This is a wonderful film. This is my uh, favorite one so far. Oh, thank you. Say that. Yeah, <laughs> because sweet. it's really a wonderful. 
not only a wonderful story, but to see the three of you from different parts of the world together and having succeeded doing something so extraordinary about sports, which is, aside from music, the way we do get together. Well, and that was, that was what Brooklyn Shanti brought to the table, is a way to connect the East and West so that when you watch the film, it won't feel so foreign. You'll, you'll oh, be brought along. Oh, the not yeah. to start with, but you, with all your flair and beautiful clothing, <laughs> I'm sure made it all the more colorful. Uh, you know what, it's, sometimes you have to bring color and light into situations that are hard to discuss and talk about. So this, hopefully the film gives people a lot of pleasure on the surface and a lot to think about when it comes to going beneath just like the superficial levels of this is what we... This is going to be huge, I think. I have a feeling. Thank you. Uh, we have one more screening this week. It's Friday at the Metro 4 at 520, and we're in competition with the docks. So. And you will be um, at the Q&A? Yes. We will be there we at the Q&A. We will Q &A. be there. Just, yeah. if they don't ask you enough questions, just start talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Thank you. You Thank could you win so this. This is amazing. Thank that you so much beautiful. for stopping by. It's very uplifting, especially today. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you very, yeah. very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you.